One of the most basic principles of economics is this idea of trade-offs and opportunity costs, as well as true cost. And that's what we're going to be examining here. We want to know what this true cost is of going skiing. If you your friend asked you to go skiing, but you were initially planning on working instead. So this true cost of going skiing will be equal to whatever these implicit costs are of skiing, plus any explicit costs that exist by your choice to go skiing. So let's examine these in the case that you're planning on working instead. So the implicit cost that you incur here is going to be an opportunity cost. And the opportunity cost of going skiing here will be wages lost. So you would lose wages by going skiing because you would have earned these wages had you chosen to go to work. Now any explicit cost that you're gonna end up losing, this is essentially what you pay to go skiing. So this could be in rental equipment. Suppose you don't have your own skis. Well then explicit cost could be included in this cost of rental equipment. Suppose rental skis, ski boots, a helmet, whatever it is, poles, who knows what you need. Rental equipment. Suppose also that you have to purchase a lift ticket in order to go skiing, right? In order to even get up on top of the hill, you have to pay to ride the lift. So you need this lift ticket to access this mountain you're skiing on. In which case, the true cost of going skiing here would be equal to these lost wages plus the rental equipment, the cost of it, and plus the cost of this lift ticket. And that would give you the true cost of going skiing because we have to take into account, remember, both implicit and explicit costs. Now let's suppose that instead you were planning on studying and your friend asked you to go skiing. Well, if we wanted to find the true cost of that, again, we're going to examine our implicit costs and our explicit costs. So the implicit cost of going skiing instead of studying would be whatever you value your time at. So let's su suggest that this is the value of your time. Because suppose that while you're studying, you're able to earn some improvement on a test or an overall grade, and that's that value of your time. Now we're not given it, so we're just gonna keep it simple with the value of your time. So whatever you might have earned during your time studying is what this would be. Plus, our explicit costs are actually gonna remain the same here. We're going to see also the cost of rental equipment and the cost of the lift ticket, if you need those two. And then our true cost of skiing, if you had planned on studying, is going to be made up of the cost of value of your time, plus the cost of rental equipment, plus your lift ticket. So it's just important to remember that when we're determining trade-offs, essentially, we take into account not only the implicit cost, which is our opportunity cost, but also the explicit cost, the cost that you can very easily track. So essentially the exact monetary value that you would spend on doing that other activity.